Welcome to the Sage 50C Pastel Accounting How-To video. In this video, we will be discussing how do I identify out-of-period processing. Out-of-period processing is when your date and period don't correspond. When this happens, you receive a message warning you that the date you have entered is out of period. I am going to show you an example of how the message will pop up. So it is important to note that each time you do a transaction on your invoices or on your cash book, you make sure that your period and date are always corresponding. In this period, period 9 is November, so my date is also falling into November. If I go in there and change the date to December, which is the 10th of December, if I proceed the warning message will pop up that says the date you have entered is out of period. What are then the signs that you have done out of period processing? Firstly, if you view the monthly statements for your customers or suppliers for a specific period, you cannot find a transaction. Secondly, when you do your bank reconciliation, it is out of balance. And thirdly, when you view the detailed ledger for a specific period, the transactions may not show. How do you then identify those transactions on your report? The best report to run is your detailed ledger for your customer, suppliers, or general ledger. We are going to run a sample report here to see if we can pick up an out-of-period processing transaction. We can go to your view, general ledger transactions, and your detailed ledger. When you run the report, it is important to make sure that your filters are correct. In this case, we need to run the report for this current year and we need to run it for November. When you run the report for November, make sure you tick the option that says each period separate. Now that we ran the report, we can see that we ran it for November, but we can see the December transaction there. This is and out of period processing. You'll need to reverse this transaction if you need to fix this problem. Firstly, make sure that you've done a proper backup before you proceed with the reversals. If the transaction was done in the cash book, you need to go into the cash book and process the transaction exactly in the same manner you did the first time. So it will have the incorrect period, the incorrect date, the same reference, except that the amount we have a negative sign in front of. So we are processing a reversal for the incorrect transaction. I've made sure that I'm in the correct cash book and that I am on the receipt side of the cash book. The transaction says that it was done in November, which is period nine, but with the date for December and it was on the 8th of December. 8th of December it's going to tell me that it's out of period and I'll just say okay so I can proceed with reversing the transaction. It was done to the sales account so I'll make sure that I'll use the sales account and I'll also make sure that the reference is exactly the same as the original transaction. In the description I'll just call this reversal and the amount should now have a negative sign. Our transaction is ready to be reversed. We can then update this. Once again, you need to make sure that you've got a valid backup before you proceed with any reversals. We update the batch. When we go and run our general ledger report, we should now see that the transaction has been reversed. If you have done out of period processing on customers or supplier documents, you will need to do a credit note for the customers or a return and debit for the supplier so that the transaction is reversed. If you are unsure about this, please go to our YouTube channel and search for a video on how to do reversals. Lastly, 
how can you prevent out of period processing? So it's advisable that when you go into your setup entry types, you need to make sure that your settings are such that it does not allow you to do out of period processing. In your setup entry types, if you go to the column that says date slash period entry, make sure that you have the option that says date set period. So the option that says date set period should be the one that is selected. What this means is whenever you select a date, it will automatically pick up the period in which that date falls into.